Pregame.com. Pregame.tv, welcome back. We have Vegas Runner in the house. He's going to be talking college football because he doesn't want to give anything away because I believe he's in third place in the LVH Team VR. Two and a half games back. Two and a half back. A lot of time. A lot of time. Keep the moving The halfway up. points this Sunday, so. It's just Love good to it. be in the mix. I like Love to be in it. the mix. I've been in the mix. I'm Brady's pay- I, been in the mix. That's what I mean. So you guys know how it feels. I'm looking at it like this is a horse race. Yeah. And right now I'm just pacing myself and, sure, and looking for, for that run. for the stretch. Looking for the stretch. All right. It's BYU. We're talking BYU Wisconsin. Has BYU been pacing themselves? They're coming in off a of bye week. They smack around Boise. <laughs> a tough road trip to Camp Randall Stadium where they don't travel ever. It's kind of like a, a, a Mormon mission, if you will. And um, they're going to be ready for the for the big boys of Wisconsin when they play that jump around. They start throwing snow up in the air. You could picture them going door to door with bicycles in Wisconsin <laughs> as we speak over the weekend. Listen, here's the thing with Wisconsin. This team's phony. As phony, phony. As, as, phony as a $3 bill. Phony. Wow. As okay. phony as a $3 bill. Any value you would have had with Wisconsin, if you haven't bet them the last seven weeks, don't start betting them now. Save your money. This yeah. is a 7-0-1 against the spread team. The only game they didn't cover, well, depending on the number, was against Ohio State when it landed on Lands 7. on the 7. Exactly. But mm-hmm. if you look at who they've beaten to get the 6-2, and two, they were favored by, in those games that they're 6-0 and oh on, 44 and a half, 44 and a half, 11 14 and a half and 10. They were double digit favorites in every single one of their wins. The only tough games they had against Ohio State, against Arizona State. Guess what? They're 0 and 2 in those games. Well, that's because they got cheated in those games by the referees. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, they won in Tempe. What Listen, do you want from them? 0 and 2 against. Hey, those you teams. down the ball with 16 seconds left. You think you're probably going to have enough time <laughs> to get the field goal unit to come out there? Apparently not. <laughs> nope, so. Not going to happen. Not on the road. <laughs> here's, here's why. I think the strength of Wisconsin is running the football. The strength of BYU is running the football. I think this BYU defense, which practices against one of the best rushing offenses in all of college football, mm-hmm. isn't going to be overwhelmed by Wisconsin the way a lot of teams are. And I think both these teams have such a good defense, one allowing 4.4 yards per play, the other 4.9 yards per play. I'm catching over a touchdown now. This open seven went to seven and a half. When the public gets involved, I'm probably going to catch eight on this game. This is going to probably be one of the most teased games on Saturday afternoon, as if Wisconsin, the win at home, is, is free money. Not so fast, my friend. Not so fast. What do you think, Brady? Well, like VR's talking about, Wisconsin has really enamored the public. I mean, they've been winning impressively because, like they say, you're, they're double-digit favorites against everybody. And, and I'm convinced they are a pretty darn good team. But meanwhile, BYU has just been under the radar and knocking everybody off. And like you say, an outstanding defense. So, again, getting over a touchdown, I think it makes a lot of sense. Very good. Well, I'm, I'm going to let you make it official, but I do have one question for you. You like to sprinkle, so we can, we got two choices here. We can sprinkle some money line plus the three seventy, or plus it'll get to three seventy, or we can parlay dog to under and take plus two sixty. What do you think? No, because I I, I think that the total is probably going to reflect the, the type of defenses this team that they both and a half. have. Yeah, because they they both light it up offensively. But I, to to be honest with you, Steve, I love the sprinkle. Yeah, I kind of like. Know you do. Like that's what I did I, yesterday. I did w- w- Monday Night Football w- with the Bears and the under. I there did that go. parlay. There you go. But I just couldn't not sprinkle something. I had to do it. I'm gonna Good let for you, you sprinkle. We're gonna make it official. Let's do it. BYU at Wisconsin. I'm gonna go ahead take the seven and a half with the Storm and Mormons. No rush at all. Public's going to drive this line up around minus eight with Wisconsin. Money's going to continue to come in. May see some sharp money on BYU. I definitely think that's the right side. Again, Wisconsin, love what you're doing at six and two. Impressive when you're a double-digit favorite with your six wins and you covered all those numbers, but they were against absolutely nobody. The two games they played against teams with (laughs) opposition, they lost. I know what Steve said. They were cheated. They they were cheated. I get it. But at the end of the day, they lost both those games. Don't be surprised if BYU goes in there and shocks them. Both teams, great at running the football. I don't think Wisconsin's going to be able to run over BYU like they have everybody else. This game's going to be as close as they come down the stretch possible. 
money line play on BYU, but grab the points just to be sure. Yeah, I hate to disagree with my main man, VR, who's kicking my butt in the Hilton contest, but I have to say it's true. Wisconsin just played a bunch of cupcakes, but I saw that Ohio State game. They played them even. <laughs> I had whiskey. I, I know had. you did, and I saw him just kick the crap out of that desert team, Arizona State, for 59 minutes and 53 seconds. I, if Wisconsin's 8 0, what are they laying in this game? Yeah, well, but true. BYU, like I said, you know, we haven't really seen a lot from them. They're not on the national TV game, but you know what? They're a pretty darn good team. I mean, they just handled Boise State two weeks ago now. Handedly. Absolutely. And they got an extra more than two weeks to prepare for this game because that yeah. was a Thursday game. But this Wait. is a big look ahead game because they have a. Just a cross state rival, Idaho State on deck. Oh boy! <laughs> sandwich. Cancel that play. It's a sandwich Cancel game. Cancel that play. And then they have Idaho State. As opposed, as opposed to whiskey, did just have a a, a, a a slobber knocker against Iowa, where Iowa's quarterback got knocked out, and they have no chance to cover. Very good. Stay with us at pregame.tv. We will be breaking down back to the NFL Sunday night action, and we've got a good one here. Dallas, New Orleans. Going to go ahead and have a free play on that. Stay with us.